like long, long burnout. Coming to the rest of the 3.30 to loose Moose's uh, stop just past the 60-foot goal. 522 is above spot, 522. That should be the uh, hippie, should be on a bump spot unless he burned it up. All righty, come on over. It's going to be a great show tonight once the sun goes down. to set the front end down 370 with a 4 206 Zalax with a pedal job over it runs 415 183 once again Mike Decker Jr. solidly in the field 370 with a 4 206 and the baby lifted one time to set the front end down a half track 370 with a 4 for Decker 415 for Zalax alright Robbie Honeycutt in the black hammer far away Sandy Wilkins, Motorsports Horsepower Under the Hood. I believe that's Cody Helger driving a BP Montreal Century right here beside us. A split window would look like it's got a new front clip on it. Honey cutting the black hammer. Home race track for him not too far away. Honeycutt still having troubles over there. 445, 445 for Rob. That'll bump him in. 445, 139. The blower car dead late. 417, 181. Pedaling it several times in the middle. All right, Andy Jensen in that unique one off. I won't call it a one off, but a unique power source over there. Small block, 118 millimeter turbo. Made a fantastic run for us last night. Thing sounds like a jet car when it leaves. Once again, that's a small block, single turbo machine. They're telling me Andy Jensen's a master at getting weight weight out of a car, ounces at a time, since so you wouldn't believe where he finds uh, finds pounds at to make that car super light to get it down to. Uh, the weight break he gets for running that combination. Mickey Thompson tires on the back. Still running a set of uh, steel wheelie bars, it looks like. Andy Jensen coming at us. So we're going to find out here how will Jensen fare if he makes the full pull here. If he 
This thing sound like a daggone jet car leaving last night. Yeah, one of my favorite cars as well. She sashayed just a little bit around a 330 cone. 389, 192 for Andy Jensen. Once again, that's 389 with a 0, 1, 8, 192, 192 for Andy Jensen. That's a pretty decent run. They're getting on it. All right, looks like Mike Decker the third coming up right here in the Decker Salvage ISI Demolition Gil Mobley Motorsports. Tie drive, Middlesex Metals Machine. Their buddy Derek Ward over there had a long night. Had to put a short block in it. Actually, the barrel valve broke off the blower on the top end last night. 9,000 RPMs with no fuel. It cooked the motor. So those boys worked hard all night. Let's see what their, their work will be rewarded. Derek and the American Pride Golf Cart Services Machine. With a new short block in. Tire shake last night for Decker. I believe he was round 409, if my memory serves me right. Once again, Derek and his boys went a long night over there at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, up early, finish up today. Another short block in the car, went through the whole drive train. Had to do some work to the hat. Shout out to those boys over there at Derek Ward Racing, American Pride Golf Sur Services Machine. What's up, West D? for Decker. He may have been slightly quicker than that last night. Darius Carr lost the tire on the hit right away. Not sure what happened. 791. He'll have to go back to his time from last night. Still one more qualifying session to go today late this afternoon. 3 o'clock right in the dead heat. All right. He got a battle of a couple beautiful nitrous cars that are on the property at Maryland International Raceway. Matt D in the Scarpelli Mechanical. Yinko Camaro. Pat Musi Power. And of course, Freddie Scribe over there in the beautiful Sorcerer out of Baltimore, Maryland. Pat Musi Power on that as well. Ty Drive, five speed Liberty in the far lane. I believe Maddie's still running a three speed over here. Both cars with decent runs last night. Scarpelli Mechanical Heating and Cooling Services on a rear quarter and the beautiful Scrabble Machine, the Sorcerer Motorsports Entry. Pat Musi Power, multiple stages of nitrous on both machines.
Scrabble's locked up on two wheels halfway down the racetrack. I didn't see what happened to Matty. I was watching Scrabble's front end up in the air riding on a wheelie bar. It's Freddie Scrabble goes 407 with a 5, 145. Matty was 417. We must have, he was, it looked like he may have shook early. 417 from Matty. Yeah, Mrs. NC is an awesome person to put up with this uh, craziness we got right here. So once again, Scrabble letting off at the 330 that may have been a planned run they said if it made it to the 330 they didn't need to run it out of the back door they knew what it would do so 407 with a five for scraba 417 for matt d and the scarpelli mechanical machine all righty next pair the screw blown corvette right here the pilot miller king operation tyler hard and the tyler hard racing entry over there to the 4.9 four space noonan power plant push pushing a pro charger over there Non lock up, non lock up this weekend. Tyler Hard got that two speed reverse as well. King was not a great burnout. Let's see if that hurts King pushing a little bit of oil out down through there, it looks like, or something. King 374 with a two. Tyler Hard 375 with a six at 200 miles an hour. King was 203. At least it was falling behind the tire. <laughs> Maybe King was pushing out some fuel or something, not exactly sure. Once again, Steve King, 374 with a two. He was dripping a little bit when he left. Luckily enough, the starter didn't see and shut him off. Thank goodness it was behind the wheel. Tyler Hard with a fantastic run over there in the Noonan Pro Charger, 375 at 200. They're getting that figured out. All right, a couple heavyweights here. Todd Moyer coming up in the Pro Extreme Racing Engines Pro Charger Machine. Dave Norris in the Crusher, former world champion. I'm going to give a shout out to Dave's mom and dad that are watching. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your support in NC Pro Monitor. So we're getting down to our last uh, few sets of cars right here, our high qualified cars from session one, I do believe is how the order was. Todd Moyer in the Extreme Racing Engines, Chevrolet Camaro right here beside us, and Dave Norris in the Crusher. And hey to Dave's mom and dad, thanks for supporting the Pro Monitor. So, all righty, light them up, light them up. Pro Charger versus Screw Blower. Pick one and ride, pick one and ride.
Moyer going all the way down to 330. Both of them easing into reverse, heading on back nice and straight. from Moyer right here in the near lane. Looked like we had a little bit of lifting in the middle for Dave Norris. He runs 399, 195. Looked like he sashayed just a touch around the 330. He must have pedaled at one time. 377, left lane, 399, right lane. Number one qualifier thus far, Don Tolly in the Don Tolly roofing machine. Bedford, Virginia, father-son team, Kevin McCurdy in the other Noonan Power Group. Tolly slipping on back, a beautiful 368 run last night. They were ecstatic about that. McCurdy over there, man. Tolly's got his game all this weekend. 369 with an 8, 203. McCurdy goes 371. Something kicked out of uh, his car. Great job for the Bedford, Virginia boys. Fastest two runs of the weekend. 369 right here. Don Tolly. McCurdy with another awesome run. 370. All right, the Savoy car, the beautiful uh, twin turbo charged Chevrolet Camaro Extreme Racing Engines will try to get down the racetrack tonight. Did not make it last night. Yep, sounds like it's making a little bit more power today. Once again, fantastic job for the Tollies out of Bedford, Virginia, father-son team. Anybody's looking to put some money in drag racing, that'd be a good bet to place your decals on that car. Those boys run tough down in the Carolinas. That's got to be one of the slickest body cars here, the uh, Savoy car, that twin turbocharged entry. Big old chop top, laid out, stretched out. 
That's the epitome of Pro Mod Drag Racing right there. Yep. Having trouble coming back. All right, so Mark Boy actually is in the process of making license runs here. Oh, so. oh, Savoy's trying to make a license run. Oh, yeah. Looks like he so, might not be going on. He will not be part of the show. Hey, once again, while we're quiet, I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but I couldn't make all these events without all my coverage partners, P2 Racing and Contracting, Fuel Tech. M&M Transmissions, Decker Salvage, American Pride, Golf Carts, Canvas Plus, Raytech Machine Tools, Hickory Enclosed Trailers, Affordable Transmissions, Raleigh Windwater Company, Tony Wilson Racing, Santos Motorsports, PD Fleet Truck and Trailer, and Record Service, DY Concrete Pumps out of Texas, Patapas, Patapsico Car Wash, Baltimore, Maryland, three convenient locations, and Derek Ward Racing for the weekend. And believe it or not, that list is going to grow beginning next week. Thank goodness. Making drag racing greater. I got people behind me. We're doing a great job. I appreciate everybody's support. Thanks for the stars. Not sure if he's going to push all the way off or try to go forward or what's going on. Well, that looks like that's in the Q2. Don Tolly and the boys showing him how to do it. Decker Jr. right on his heels now. McCurdy's still in the hunt. I see you back at 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock right here on Pro Modern Vision, home of the free live stream. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day.